So casuals don't belong in my team. That is the argument that we are seeing by a small section of the my team community. Well, it's a small section of the Twitter community, which is a small section dedicated to the diehards. To the die, diehards, diehards. That casuals don't matter and we don't need casuals. And I think that that might be the most flawed argument. Like this is a whole thing from, from like last week, from like Wednesday, Thursday. I was just out all day yesterday. I didn't want to make it on a content day. And like on days where things are kind of um, a little bit quiet, I would rather make videos like this talking about Mo because realistically, that's why you come to the, my, the DVD channel for a little bit of everything. Some gameplays, find out about budget players, learn about news, talk about the mode. Like that is why, in general, people come to the DBG channel. Like it's not the um, the highest production quality, but you're getting something here that you're not getting anywhere else. That's the reason why I think, still to this day, I've been, I've been able to stay afloat as like a little bit above tight Evo, despite being way better than me at the game. Better in front of a camera than me. Because you, get, you do get a little bit of everything here on the LDBG channel, if you think about it. But the Twitter community was like standing by this argument. And it was an argument made by a lot of people. There was one tweet that really kind of, that really kind of set it off. And a lot of the people agreeing with this, I thought it was the most like short-sighted thing ever. And again, I don't think like the guy is a good guy. I, I genuinely like the guy who made the who mentioned it. But um, I just strongly disagree with the point. And the point is that people are making is that my team should not be for casuals. If you want to be a casual player of my team, you have got to play playing out, and that ev basically that everything in my team should be based there in the hardcore. So basically, like. For example, um, Jalen Brunson, that, well, like, essentially, like, it was during the day of the Brunson grind. So, in reality, the point, this isn't the point he's made, he hasn't specifically said this, but if I was to say something that is probably true, it would be, what's the point of having this Jalen Brunson grind when we can just have a longer grind for a better card? Or, what's the point of all of these Tuesday takeover grinds? when we can go back to like having 10 hour long grinds for better cards because screwed up casual players, the hardcore players are all the matters. And I think that might be the most short sighted argument I've ever seen. Like I've ever, ever seen. Um, because sports video games should not be gay kept. And I stand by that. People don't realize how small a percentage of the player base are like hardcore players like i would probably consider myself as of right now in terms of hours play grinding in like the top seven or eight percent of players at lowest top seven or eight percent of players i have three trophy case cards i have three trophy case cards lads. it is tough out here man it's tough to grind these players but it's just at that point zero one percent and again, I think I'm overestimating. These are educated guests, but I think I'm overestimating the 0.01% that are going to get 12 trophy case cards or more this season. The game's kind of been built for them. And I think the 2K did a lot of things towards the end of last week to improve it. And I know, listen to all the jazz podcasts saying like, oh, uh, stop using the words 2K. But I mean, if I replace the word 2K with they, I think it has the same impact has the same impact. We all know that when I'm talking about 2K, I'm talking specifically about the decisions made, whether that's, I don't know internally, whether that's decisions made by the producers who are part of the dev team, whether that's decisions made by the higher ups, I don't know. I don't know this, so I just gotta refer to a just general they, they then. I think that this Halloween event is great because, because you guys don't know when it comes to the Halloween event, you can get these cards you can go and get yourself. By the way, I for some reason just didn't get my um my daily login today, which is really weird. Because like quick resumes, it just flashed up on a screen that I didn't have a tick and I just didn't get it. It was really weird, but it doesn't matter. So I like 10 for these. But if you don't want to get any of these takeover players, and everyone's like, but what about people are complaining being like, but what about the hardcore players who grind for every takeover card? I'm like, okay then. You can go and get yourself um 
If you buy a Bronze Fierce Finisher and Bronze Giant Slayer, you can get yourself 10 Nightmare Deluxe Packs instead. So this weekend, you can basically get yourself a free 10-pack box. And what's a 10-pack box for these? 135k VC worth of packs. So I'm like... I'm like, that's kind of a bad, not a good argument. But the tro this was really, really good. What they did here was really good because I do think it, it for every type of player, if you can get a seasonal takeover player, you can get one. If you did, you can either get some tokens or you can just get 10 nightmare packs normal. You can get a Halloween shoe pack, which I think is not great to be honest. You can get a super trophy case pack, which is, which are three decent ones for one. So it's like, there's, there's a lot of really good things about this event. I'm being dead serious. There's there's nothing bad about it. But the like hardcore of hardcore players will be like, oh, it's not. It's too easy. You've given out too much for casuals. What about us? But it's like the whole damn games for these guys. I think that, and I think the Brunson grind was so good as well. Because again, Knicks fans will play it. It's an easy grind. People did it. Um... And it was for a pretty good card. Not a brilliant card, but a pretty good card. A card that makes the vast majority of new players new players' teams. And it's a really good grind for casual players. Just like, I don't mind a Chuck Person grind. Could Chuck Person have been... If he had a God tier release, he was really good. Like, could have been that a little bit better. But still, but still, I feel like what we've had, what we had from Thursday and Friday and this weekend has been incredible for player for a casual for the casual players. It's gonna bring players the most, especially when the game went on sale. And I think all around the last few days have been a positive. However, the opposite has been is almost being argued. That like and I don't think this was specifically argued, but the argument of the casual shouldn't matter it means that this Halloween event, what was the point? It means that what was the point of giving us Jalen Brunson, giving us moments cards? Like the argument of casual players don't matter literally means that you know what if the casual player doesn't matter then why the hell do the player do the individual players matter like why the hell would we ever get another steph curry card in my team because you know steph curry the hardcore players all know that uh if you give us let me just find a random point guard or even a shooting guard if you give us a donovan mitchell that plays the same position as steph donovan mitchell is a bad example if you give us a point guard lance stevenson he's gonna be better than stephen curry so, like, once that card exists, why ever give us Steph Curry? Like, the argument of casuals don't matter means what's the hell point? What is the point of 90% of NBA players? We might as well just call every player Mamerto. Like, we might as well just call every player Mamerto. It turns into a situation of we might as well just bring back Endgame right now. We might as well just make it almost like Endgame. Go back to NBA freaking... Go back to NBA Live 02 before they bring in free signature styles and every player is the same jump shot. Like, like, what's the point of that? It's such a flawed logic. Like, when, what happens eventually when all the casual players are being ran out of the game because the argument is, you know, casuals don't matter. And they're all being ran out of the game. But then we start to see that while the casuals are being ran out of the game, suddenly the guys that used to be pretty damn good at the game have become the casuals. And they become the whipping boys and they lose every game. Most of them don't have a get better attitude because right now they're still going to beat the crap out of some casual players. When they all go, and eventually they're the worst players in the game, they're going to be the casuals. They're going to be the ones being like, why is this game not ha not good for me? Because like, what people are almost arguing is that they should do a more extreme version of Trophy Case next year. And there are no flaws. Because it's just, it's just a bad logic to look at anything because the majority of players are casuals. And running off the majority of people out of anything is a bad idea. Gatekeeping in a sports video game is a really bad idea. It simply put is. And like this is not necessarily a rant video about um, the way the game, state of the game is right now. Because the moment Jalen Brunson's cool. If we go and see another moments card on Monday, which it may or may not happen. Because obviously um, it's Halloween. I think we might see some other content. We're going to packs on Tuesday. But if we suddenly see a moments card on Wednesday, a moments card on Thursday, and then we get content Tuesday, Friday, and something on Monday for Halloween, like, you can ask for more. Like, it's, I was going to say, what more can we ask for? But there's always ways that something can be improved. 
but we have to say that is a, that becomes a significant improvement and we're looking at the things going on the right track we're looking at things going on the right track the only people that were pissed at Jalen Brunson are people that were never going to get Jalen Brunson like the only people that were pissed the Jalen Brunson agenda was good for the vast majority of people that are pissed off the way the trophy case is and then the people that were getting pissed off at the Brunson were just getting pissed off because they made up the people were getting pissed off the Brunson wasn't good enough whereas the people that are, are arguing for moments cards don't give a damn how good the cards are in general as long as they're somewhat usable but yet these like guys that are saying the casuals can never be happy they shouldn't make this mode for casuals are making the argument of oh yeah Brunson sucks like that's never the point it isn't the point. Like, there are two completely different fan bases that want two completely different th things in the game. There are some that are just looking to compete and get the best players possible. And there are some players that are more casual that like using some of their favorite players. That ideally, that their favorite players are somewhat usable in-game. Um, and if they go out and just can have fun playing, win sometimes, lose sometimes, and just enjoy the game. I think that the latter group of people is, in fact, bigger. Or at least, maybe not anymore. Maybe not anymore, since everything in my team has become about kind of like animations and everything and i mean i'm a freaking i'm a reason why that's i'm the reason why that's uh, a big part of the reason why that's the case but um i do think that it's at worst if you can't argue that there are more people that will just use omertos than will use their favorite players in general in this game even if it does happen that those guys that do like use their favorite players only play offline but getting rid of making a game to get rid of that group of people is rough like what i do think is a solution and i think there needs to be a competitive mode and anyone say my team unlimited it's the least competitive mode there is because it's the only mode you get points for losing so it's the least competitive mode there is like there needs to be a competitive mode to appease those guys while making every other mode slightly more casual like make some of these modes a little bit easier but also give the competitive guys a weekend leak so that if they really want to be competitive they have that i think there are whole ways that the be the ideal way is to build a game where there is something for is something for everybody where casual players can have fun where competitive players can have fun and i think that having the argument of the trophy case is objectively a bad thing and it's completely not that it's completely ruined the mode that it is um it is bad for every single person is a wrong thing if you can say the trophy case ruined the mode for me and i think that's a legitimate argument that a lot of people can make and i think it is very true that it has ruined the mode for a lot of people but the trophy case clearly is a good thing for its target demographic i don't think anyone can really ignore or argue that to be honest the problem is is that guys who are in the trophy case demographic are out there saying that the others don't matter and i actually think the casual player saying that the like hardcore players don't matter is equally as wrong but and i'm guessing if you go into other parts of the internet that argument is probably more prevalent than the other than vice versa but if i'm looking on twitter it, there are a lot of people like it's a very well like it's a light there's a couple of really light tweets about it. it's a lot of people complaining but i genuinely think that the argument that my team should not cater in any way to casuals when casuals are a significant majority of the player base is one of the most short-sighted arguments ever and the reason why i have to make this video is that look i don't know i don't know if they take feedback from youtube if they're looking reddit i think i genuinely do think that the devs and producers of this game are looking everywhere for feedback because that's one thing i'll go to the damn end of the earth defending is that these guys really do care I'll question their decisions quite a lot. I don't agree with a lot of decisions they've made. But I will I will go out on a limb defending the fact that these guys really freaking care about the game. So I got to make this video to give an alternate viewpoint. Because looking at Twitter, the vast majority of the viewpoint is that screw the casuals. So I got to make this video as an alternate viewpoint to just talk, discussing the topic. Because getting ideal situation, I know that these, like the devs, the producers watch all of these videos. I know they're looking constantly for different perspectives and I know Twitter is the main, one of the main places they are looking. So on a different platform where I have more of an audience and more time to talk, I'm going to give a completely different viewpoint. Do I think, like I am ultimate casual in the way I play the game. I like, I like booting up this game. 
I like making content, but I do like, in terms of playing the game, I have my most fun when I can play the game an hour a day. When I can play, when I feel like I can play one hour a day, oh, there's always something new to do. And I'm not left that far behind. I'm cool. Everyone's like, oh, everyone's, the casual players want all the best cards. No, we don't. No, we don't. Like, do I have a God Squad? Sure. Sure, I have a God Squad, but like, I, run, I play with this team because it's more fun. So I'm like, I'm like, it's people making a completely different argument saying casuals don't want to be left behind. There are some people that are like that. But at the end of the day, you, if you don't have the time, you're going to be behind. If you have the money, you're going to be behind. The issue is, is that when, when you're behind, there's nothing to do. There's no way of, like, not even no way of catching up. There's nothing really even to do. Whereas I think now with the event of the weekend, with some moments agendas, with just some more little things, it can get better. And I think it's going to. Positive weekend. If things are going badly again, I'll make a video calling it out. I'll make a video talking about the game. Because that's the one thing I like with my platform is that I can give my opinion. And hopefully... I do genuinely think that I'm probably one of the better people in the community at actually like giving an opinion, backing my opinion up with, well, realistically, either real evidence or anecdotal evidence, as well as being able to articulate my opinion without contradicting myself too much. And yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. Let me know in the comment section whether you guys think my team is for casuals or not. Whether you guys think 2K should say, screw the casuals, let's only focus on the um hardcore players or what do you think it should be the opposite where the game mode should be more casual i think in an ideal situation there's stuff in the game to um keep all keep casual players interested keep casual players logging in on a daily basis as well as that um there should be stuff for like hardcore players in the game and i think they've done a really good job of the latter but a really bad job of the former so far this year and i think that would I rather see it be more casual focused than comp and like competitive and hardcore focused? Sure. Um, but I do think that an ideal situation is a game that works for both extremes and it's a game that is something for everybody. And I hope, I really hope moments cards become that something for everybody consistently in the game because anytime it's a Tuesday or a Friday drop, there's going to be cheap cards. There'll be something for everybody in that. If suddenly all five days a week there's something for everybody to do, that's when we see more people picking up this game. We see more people in the mode, especially when the game goes on sale. And I think that this is going to be a good year on my team. I think it's been a bad start, and I'll stand by that. I think it's been a really bad start to the game, but I think it's going to be a good year.